guys, welcome back to the channel. Armored Warfare back again, but this time, <laughs> again, <laughs> I'm at tier 6, but uh, I'm in the M1 Americano Abrams. This one again has a turbine engine, so you can hear it spool up during the beginning of the game. Which is probably one of my favorite parts about those kind of vehicles that have these these kind of engines. Other than that, the, the tank's pretty quick. The armor on the upper plate's really good, but the lower plate's extremely weak. The turret's pretty strong, but I think if you run into tanks that are like two or three tiers higher, they can probably punch through it. But uh, just in general, it hull down the, the Abrams is pretty good. The turret seems to turn pretty fast, and the gun the gun handling for when the tank moves around is pretty good. You can see the, the reticle doesn't bloom very much. And this map is a 5v5 skirmish map, but my, my crew is really bad. <laughs> this is like one of my first games, PvP in this tank. And I was trying to stop for a while there, but I just blew past and went flying around the corner got nailed. <laughs> so that wasn't ideal. I didn't uh, exactly know how long it would take to stop. But the Abrams is a very, very chunky tank. It's extremely heavy. And you can see that my shot went really high there. Normally the accuracy in, in this game is really good. But uh, the, the crew accuracy is really bad in, in this vehicle, so won't be making any snipe shots. You can see how, how long it's taking for them to aim at stuff. So I know that the, the VFM on the other side of the map there is kind of off by himself. So decide to go. We need to go against this XM1 and against the other guy here. We waited a little bit too long. Didn't know how many guys were there, so <clears throat> decided it was time to go in and kill this guy. And unfortunately, he killed one of our friends. I don't know why he decided to go up against too many battle tanks in his light tank, but he decided to blame the team for it. So, go in there, round into him, and use him as cover. Use his own buddy as cover uh, against uh, the other guy. He dies, he dies, and suddenly there are two tanks down, and things are good. So now, we are going to go down and fight the guys... We think that they're on the bottom, but they've actually relocated to a different spot. So I'm going to take a little bit of a different route here. Try and come at them from a different angle. Because we got guys coming at them from the bottom, from the middle, and then another guy who's skirting along in the top of the map. So I'm going to come around here and get spotted, which means there's somewhere, someone's high somewhere. Either on the other side of the river or back to my right. So I'm going to try and stay as hold on as I can, and I'm still getting spotted. So someone's... Someone's got some verticality somewhere. Identify I'm just popping up, and... Okay, I guess uh, <laughs> he's behind me somehow. So I pop around the corner, and the gun depression on the vehicle is still pretty good. And I put a shot into him. And I'm just thinking, do I drive across here and try and engage him and engage the other guy? And then I was like, uh... I don't know if he was running, so I moved up a couple times. And he's still spotting me, and I think he's running... But my view range is so terrible, my crew is so bad that I'm like, ah, I he maybe chew me up before I even get across. And the VFM is more than capable of putting shots through my lower plate. So then I decide, okay, no, I'm not going to have him sit there and chew me up. So I come over here and I'm going to blast this guy. And instead of doing what I usually do, which is aim for myself, I auto aim and you get shots like that happen. So that's primarily why I don't auto aim. I usually aim all my shots. Even if it takes me a little bit longer, I prefer to put my shots where I want them to go instead of having them go into tires, tracks, or unmanned turrets. Like, if you shoot certain, like, the uh, tanks like the, um, the the T-14 on a mod. If you shoot it in the turret, you don't do any damage because there's no people in it and it doesn't do anything. So, this guy comes blasting through, and I don't quite have the shot I want to have on him, so I wait, and lots of effects and I managed to put a shot into him but the VFM is pretty quick <laughs> and my Abrams is with a crap crew and it's it's got all the modules but it's it's still sluggish and slow compared to that VFM so he comes around he's not gonna get out of here and I managed to track him and then someone else puts a shot into him and he's dead all right so now we will jump into the after battle stuff the victory screen stays on for a little bit of time. I'm not sure why it takes it so long to load into, uh, into the end of game stuff, but so you can see here, made 44,000 credits and 3,200 damage. 
Uh, our Type 90 R did a pretty good job there. He did a, a fair a fair bit. I got a couple kills out of it. And, um... Yeah, that's Cold Strike. It's maybe not my favorite map in the world. But uh, these skirmish games are pretty fun. I like that they're a little bit smaller. And uh, hit all my shots. I didn't miss anything. And I got some okay experience out of it in my double. And uh, the armor held up fairly okay in the vehicle too. So, overall, I, I don't mind the Abrams. I don't think it's a bad vehicle. But I still prefer the mobility um, of the, the, the Soviet ones at this point. But, you know, maybe it'll get better when the crew gets better. I'm going to keep driving it, and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.